of other northeastern states, New York is following along in easing mask mandates. Citrus TV reporter Katie Fongvasa will discuss what this means right now here in studio. Katie, what's going on? Thank you, Tyler. New York's indoor mask mandates for businesses expire today. Governor Kathy Hochul announced yesterday that she is pleased with the decline of new cases by 90% and hospitalizations by 60%. Those were key for Hochul's decisions as her temporary man mandate was in response to the spike of the Omicron variant back in December. Counties, cities, and businesses can decide if they want to continue enforcing their own mandate. The decision to ease masking in schools remains up in the air. Officials will review positivity rates, hospitalizations, and vaccination again early March. Hochul will wait until after midwinter break to reevaluate. She knows students will likely travel and hopes to continue on the downward trend of reducing the spread of COVID-19. Following Governor Hochul's announcement, Vice Chancellor J. Michael Haney sent out an email to SU students Wednesday afternoon. Haney plans to readjust accordingly. Onondaga County has seen a 41% drop in cases and 20% in hospitalizations. The county will follow Hochul's new guidelines. Haney says in the next 7 to 10 days, the university and its health team will monitor campus and CNY numbers. SU may ease down to code blue, which requires all individuals to mask up in classrooms and recommend those vaccinated and boosted in indoor settings. Those unvaccinated will be required indoor and outdoor to wear their mask. The university's, university's positivity rate is below 2% and wastewater testing results are not detectable. The hope for a pre-pandemic normalcy will continue to grow as there is a decrease in all trends. Back to you guys.